We share this planet with many large and powerful predators. Some of these predators specialize in targeting one type of animal, and other predators feed on pretty much anything they come across. Some people view large predators as soulless killers, but if you look at the bigger picture, humans are the real villains. We destroy the habitats of many of the animals that we share the planet with, and we shoot and kill anything in our way. This may be one of the many reasons why some large predators leave humans alone, and really this is a very smart decision. Even though there are quite a few large predators that could easily take down a human, very few predators actually target us directly. Of course every large predator will kill a human every now and again, but very few of them directly see us as a food source. In this video I will be focusing on predators that could easily take down a human but choose not to, as I will be going through three top predators that don't hunt humans. And for our first species we will be heading to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia, as our first species is the snow leopard. Snow leopards are highly specialized and very well adapted predators. They're at home in high altitude cold mountains, and these landscapes can be very unforgiving. Their thick fur helps to keep them warm, and it also helps to keep them hidden. A snow leopard is a mammal that has one of the best forms of camouflage, as it's even hard to spot them when they're right in front of you. They can creep up on their prey without them hearing, smelling or seeing them, and this makes them the perfect ambush predators. Even though these cats are known as leopards, they're more closely related to tigers than they are to leopards. They are quite stocky cats and they're very heavily built, and this is a more fitting body shape for cold mountainous areas. Food can be quite scarce in cold mountainous regions, and this is one of the reasons why snow leopards have ranges of up to 1000 square kilometers. They travel long distances around these ranges each day, and they are always on the lookout for prey. In its native range, this big cat mostly feeds on wild sheep, goats and deer, but will even target smaller creatures such as rodents and primates. Some large snow leopards can reach a maximum weight of around 75 kilograms, and this size along with their muscular build means that they could easily take down a human. They often take down creatures as large as humans, yet there has never been a verified snow leopard attack on a human. This may seem shocking at first, but really there are quite a few reasons why snow leopards don't target humans. One of the main reasons is the fact that the snow leopard is actually a very rare creature. There are thought to be around 10,000 mature individuals left in the wild, and this is thought to decrease by around 10% in the next 20 years. Even if you manage to come across a snow leopard in the wild, it's extremely unlikely for it to come anywhere near you. Snow leopards are extremely quiet and elusive, and it's more than likely to spot you before you've spotted it. In the wild, when they come across humans they flee, as they have quite a shy and skittish nature. In most cases when there is conflict between snow leopards and humans, it involves snow leopards hunting livestock. Snow leopards have been hunted and poached for years, and even when they're cornered or snared, they first try to escape before showing any aggression. So really the main reason why these large predators don't go after humans is simply because we're so different from their natural prey, and they really are quite shy and docile cats. So even though they could easily kill a human, they never do, and it's a real shame that we still kill them. But for our next predator, we will be heading over to Africa, as we have the spotted hyena. The spotted hyena is one of the most misunderstood predators on this planet, and the majority of people don't even see them as predators. For years we have been told that hyenas are scavengers, and for some of the hyena species this is true. Brown and striped hyenas are mostly scavengers, but the spotted hyena is a predator. It will seek out and steal carrion, but most spotted hyena populations hunt just as much as lions. Lions are just one of the hyena's natural enemies, with some of the others being cheetahs, leopards, and African wild dogs. Some people even view the spotted hyena as some kind of strange dog, but as I've covered in a recent video, hyenas are more closely related to cats than they are to dogs. They are a female-led society, and the females are usually larger than the males and they dominate them. The spotted hyena's closest relatives are the mongooses and civets, but really they live completely different lives to these creatures. In the wild, these predators mostly feed on medium-sized undulates, but really they'll feed on pretty much anything they come across. In the past, hyenas have always been given a bad reputation, as in the media they are always portrayed as evil creatures. The stories about hyenas are often exaggerated, and really they're much less likely to attack you than other predators. Spotted hyenas are typically shy in the presence of humans, and they have the highest flight distance among African carnivores. This is an area around an animal that if encroached, the animal will become alarmed or choose to escape. Attacks on humans are very rare, and they usually only tend to go after women and children. In Malawi in 1962, a very large pair of man-eating hyenas were responsible for killing 27 people, but this pair were eventually shot. 
This pair had learned to associate humans with food. And these attacks happened in September, where bushfires make the hunting of wild game very difficult for these hyenas. These mammals are very opportunistic feeders, and will only go after humans if they're desperate, or if they come across a very weak or sick individual. The poaching of their prey has only made this situation worse, as this has created more and more desperate hyenas. So really the real reason why spotted hyenas don't hunt humans is because they are intelligent creatures and they have learnt that humans are potentially dangerous. They have also lived alongside humans for thousands of years, and luckily in most cases humans and hyenas have learnt to tolerate each other. For our final species we will be heading over to Indonesia, as our final top predator is the Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is named after one of the islands in which it's found, but its range spans across three other islands. This lizard is a true apex predator, and it is the largest extant species of lizard. They can measure up to 3 meters in length, and they can weigh around 70 kilograms. This size means that they can prey on pretty much anything they come across, and in their native range this is usually deer, buffalo, and domesticated animals such as goats and pigs. When a Komodo dragon chooses to target one of these animals, it has quite a strange way of taking them down. Instead of going for their throat or skull, they sometimes bite them by the leg and then let them go. Although these bites may not seem substantial, they are often fatal, as the Komodo dragon has a secret weapon. For years it was thought that they have septic bacteria in their saliva, but relatively recently it was discovered that they are actually venomous. The main effects of this venom are swelling and blood clotting, and if you were bitten by a Komodo dragon you would be in trouble. Even though attacks on humans are rare, there have been a few fatalities over the years. From 1974 to 2012, there were 24 reported attacks on humans, but only 5 of these were fatal. Most victims were local villagers living in the national parks in which they're found, and once again they mostly went after women and children. Komodo dragons don't like to be bothered, and some of these reported attacks were defensive. In most cases, Komodo dragons will avoid humans, and even if these lizards choose to approach you, they can be easily deterred. People have lived alongside Komodo dragons for centuries, and some tourists are even allowed to approach them. They are usually persuaded to leave humans alone with a stick, and surprisingly this usually does the trick. Even though the Komodo dragon is more than capable of taking down a human, it seems as though once again they don't try to unless they're desperate. We are not the natural prey of the Komodo dragon, and really we don't act like a prey animal. Most of the time they are far more interested in other animals, and I'm sure most people will be happy about this fact. If you know of any other creatures that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.